I want to bring on a man who knows crypto well here. Uh, and joining us right now is the founder and CEO of a blockchain-based lending platform, Celsius Network. Alex Mashinsky joins us right now. Uh, and Alex, appreciate you taking the time here to chat. I mean, obviously, none of this seems real you know, new when it comes to Bitcoin's code and the way that it's described in the white paper, but a lot of people are surprised that Elon Musk is pulling this 180 here. Uh, what do you make about maybe the environmental concerns that, that some say are overblown when it comes to Bitcoin? Thanks for having me back. Uh, the, uh, you know, Tesla basically uh, is trying to uh, uh, sell all of us uh, an electric car. So obviously uh, he was on the other side of the trade here picking Bitcoin as a payment method. I think if you picked Ethereum or some of the other uh, uh, proof of stake uh, projects like Cardano, he would not have this PR nightmare. Yeah, I mean, the transaction piece is one that's interesting when it stands out, you know, because because it necessarily, Bitcoin necessarily had shifted away from that, right? People have talked about it in the transaction space before. And then, uh, you know, everyone really leaned into the idea of it being digital gold. We saw institutional attraction there now too. But to your point on the uh, sustainability impact side, um, what do you expect this is all about? Because some people are saying that you could see a solar powered uh, Bitcoin miner. You could see the shift as he's kind of flexing in here to a more sustainable piece. Which one do you see him going to if that is what he's trying to do here? Well, in the last quarter, uh, uh, Tesla made something like $300 million in profit just from selling a portion of its Bitcoin uh, position. So obviously they use Bitcoin to deliver uh, a quarter, a major, a very important quarter for them. So you can't have it both ways. You can't say, oh, Bitcoin is not good for me. And at the same time, print a quarter using uh, mostly Bitcoin earnings. So Bitcoin doesn't need Tesla. Bitcoin is up 20 million percent in the last decade the best performing asset class uh, of the last decade by uh, an order of magnitude. And uh, the industry is going to do just fine without Elon. Yeah, what's interesting too, and I mean, I want to talk about kind of what your platform does here as well, because Bitcoin's kind of been that on-ramp for a lot of people to get into crypto. But now that that's happened and we've seen this explosion in DeFi, your platform lets people take out uh, loans against their uh, cryptos. You can earn yield on cryptos there. Um, but interesting to see as more people kind of move into that, if you can take out a loan, get in cash, fiat dollars, uh, but keep your stuff staked there, it seems like we're kind of moving rather quickly into this area away from ever having to interact with traditional banking at all. And obviously there's tax advantage that come with, with not selling crypto. So how overlooked do you think that benefit is? And how far off are we from kind of having this mass adoption where you're more interacting with financial uh, instruments on the blockchain than you are in traditional banking? Well, it's I uh, put the shirt on to remind everybody uh, that you need to, our purpose Celsius network uh, helps you uh, unbank yourself and help uh, uh, bank the unbanked. Uh, we pay uh, 10% interest on assets like stable coins that are dollar denominated. And we manage uh, just over $20 billion. We have over 700,000 users worldwide. And uh, Celsius pays a uh, hundred times more than JP Morgan, right? Ten percent versus zero point one percent. So, so you have to ask yourself, uh, a, you know, what, where, which one is the real market? Which, which yield represents the real value of money? What, what the bank pays you, or what DeFi pays you? So, uh, we've seen uh, over the last several years that uh, basically deploying your money into free markets where the price or the value is determined uh, by the uh, bidder and the person who's willing to take that bid, right, is a much more efficient uh, mechanism for earning yield than relying on the Fed or relying on the banks to tell you what they're willing to pay for your money. All right. Yeah, well, it's, it's obviously a very interesting uh, time, even just comparing to about two years ago when all of this was first kind of taken off here. Uh, but appreciate you stopping by to chat with us today. Uh, the founder and CEO of Celsius Network. Uh, appreciate it. Alex Mashinsky, thanks again.